don't underestimate sleep. Don't underestimate recovery. Without it, all of your efforts in the gym go away. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. Today, I wanted to focus on how you can relax and recover properly and why you should be doing so in this video. And we're gonna discuss the ways I do it. So hopefully my experience and the things that I do will help you in your journey. Whenever I talk to clients, I try to let them know that it's extremely important to recover. If you're breaking your body down heavily and not recovering, you're only hurting yourself. You're not gonna actually get the benefits of all the hard work that you're doing. Many people only sleep a few hours a night because they feel like, you know, they, they could be up doing something better or they just have, their mind doesn't stop working. There's so many reasons why you and I might not be able to sleep and rest and truly recover. But there are certain things that sometimes you can do to try to fix that. In general, I try to exercise every single day. I don't take any rest days. There's two reasons for that. I want to make sure I'm consistent. I feel good when I exercise every single day. Some people, however, their schedules are different, so they can't exercise every day. So I'm not talking about that. If your schedule doesn't allow, you can't do it, you can't do it. But I like to stay consistent and train every single day because I feel great every single day that I train, so why not do it every day? The second reason is because it's going to get me tired. See, when I'm done bodybuilding or when I'm done doing cardio, I am exhausted. So because I'm exhausted, by the end of the day, I can have a very good sleep for the most part. Now, sometimes just being exhausted doesn't help. In cases like that, there could be a couple of reasons. Maybe you're taking stimulants, right? Maybe you're taking pre-workout. Maybe you're exercising a little bit close, to, uh, too close to bedtime and your body is still amped up after training too amped up to sleep. Maybe you have things going on in your life that's causing you to not be able to sleep and relax. Many, many reasons, right? But I just want to say before we move forward, try training very intensely. Many people don't train as intensely as they think they do, and therefore, they're not sufficiently tired at the end of the day. With the way the world is now, we're sitting at a computer, we're working at home, we're not moving much, we're doing a lot of work with our fingers, but our bodies aren't expending any energy. We're sitting there and we're eating. We're gaining energy, gaining fat, and not actually losing weight and, and becoming winded enough, using enough of our body to fall asleep. So that could be a big thing. But if that's not the thing, let's talk about some of the stuff that I do when my mind's racing, when uh, I'm not able to sleep for whatever the reason is. The first thing I wanna talk about is Revive. A company called Mueller, sent this to the channel and I've told you guys about it a couple of different times. This isn't the entire unit. You actually plug in, it's, this is a compression device. I have leg compression boots with this Revive machine. At the end of the day, I will sit down. It's kind of like a little spa treatment. You sit down, you put the boots on and it's especially helpful if you did legs that day, right? This thing also has upper body uh, components that I don't have so hopefully I'll be able to get those soon and check those out but if you do legs for example or even if you don't do legs and you want to relax you throw this thing on and it takes you to another world it relaxes your body it starts shutting you down in a matter of minutes and it's helping with your recovery specifically in regards to the body part a component that you have. So if you have the upper body machine and you did upper body, well, that's gonna help your upper body recover and revive, so to speak. And same thing with the legs. So if I have a heavy leg day and I use it, it's gonna help me recover. And even if I don't have a heavy leg day and I throw these boots on at the end of the day, I could sit there and have so much energy and then all of a sudden I start getting tired. I don't know why, but it is extremely relaxing and it takes the energy away from you, which is fantastic when you wanna fall asleep. The next thing I want to talk about is sleep aids, okay? Now, I used to take something called Gorilla Dream. I've discussed this on the channel in the past, and I actually stopped taking it. And the reason why is because it, it did what it needed to do for the most part. But, unfortunately, it didn't always do what it needed to do. And 
the biggest thing was it didn't cause me to become tired when I wanted to be tired. Sometimes I'll take sleep aids to keep me on schedule. Some days you want to stay up till 2 a.m. watching movies, right? It's not the best idea because then you're getting up at like 1 p.m. the next day or whatever the case might be. If you want to stay on a schedule and you're consistently not tired, sleep aids is a good way to do it. But only if the sleep aid kicks in when you need it to kick in. If you take a sleep aid like this and it doesn't kick in after 45 minutes, an hour, and it only works to get you like a deep sleep once you're sleeping, well, that may not be what you want. And that's what I was finding with this. So I decided to, to venture out, find another supplements company that would carry better sleep aids. I ended up finding three. The first here is something called Lullaby. This is what I would recommend to you. And I got this from Sups Central. This is a fantastic company. I'll leave their link in the description of this video. Their shipping is phenomenally fast. They go out of their way to let you know when there's sales. So they literally will tell you like, hey, you know, you could be buying this at a cheaper price. Let me put a code in for you. They've done that to me on the phone. And I think it's a family run business, if I remember correctly. The customer service has been personalized. Like you're talking to somebody who actually cares and understands the products. So that's what I really appreciated and enjoyed about the experience. Thank you to Sub Central very much for the commitment to customer service that you've given. Now, I'm not getting paid to talk about their product right now. I'm just letting you know what works. So I went ahead and got this lullaby. This stuff, man, does this stuff calm you down. It relaxes you. And when you combine lullaby with something like this, the Revive, oh, man, you are on another planet. And that planet feels great, right? Sometimes you'll take this stuff and you'll barely be able to make it to the bathroom to brush your teeth before you go to bed. So keep in mind, there's a break-in period. When you use it once, you may need a couple of times to kind of understand how it's gonna work with your body. So for the first time, I recommend doing everything you need to do before you take it. Brush your teeth, take a shower, whatever the case might be, all right? Let's move on to the next one. I also picked this up from Sub Central too. This is called Superhuman Sleep, and I think it's fantastic. Now, I don't necessarily like it as much as Lullaby. The reason why is because it doesn't taste as good to me. Does it taste bad? No, it doesn't taste bad at all, but it doesn't taste as good. Another thing that I find is I just fall asleep more relaxed with this, but everybody is different. So you might like superhuman sleep too. I am recommending it right now because it does what it needs to do. You will fall asleep with it. It will help you to knock out. Something interesting about superhuman sleep is it's touted as a bodybuilding and fat loss supplement. Now, do I really think bodybuilding and fat loss comes into this? I don't believe so. The one way that it will is if you're awake, you're eating more. So if you're sleeping, you can't gain weight. So in that regard, that is true. And with bodybuilding, recovery is key. So if you're breaking your body down the way you should be during every single workout, the sooner and the more you sleep, the more you will build, right? In theory. So that is where these claims do make sense. But is this thing going to get you shredded? No. Is this thing going to get you jacked? No, it's not. But it does say on the back, if you aren't taking superhuman sleep, you are sabotaging your recovery. That goes for anything. That goes for anything. If you're not taking anything, you might be sabotaging your recovery. Same goes for this. So I would recommend highly Lullaby. And if for any reason you don't like Lullaby or don't want Lullaby, Superhuman Sleep. Or you can do what I did. I bought three separate sleeping aids to test them for you. And that's what we're talking about now. The third one is called Hypnos. Hypnos is great. It does what it needs to do. It doesn't taste all that great in my personal opinion. And it also causes me to feel groggy in the morning. You don't want to feel groggy in the morning. This stuff has had me in such deep sleeps where I wake up after like eight, nine hours and I still, I'm awake and I don't want to move. That's not productive. Does it get you to sleep? Yes. Will it keep you asleep even after you already woke up? <laughs> it might. It has for me. So that's why I would put this on the last the last tier when it comes to this. Lullaby first, superhuman sleep second, 
and Hypnos. I guess you can go ahead and get Hypnos. Uh, keep in mind, you can't get this from Subs Central either, so that kind of helps you out if you want to order from Subs Central. I went out of my way. This is uh, from a company called Chaos and Pain, and so I ordered it from a separate website altogether. The third thing I want to talk about is very basic, but a lot of you guys might overlook this. This is Sleepy Time Tea. This stuff has valerian root in it. It has a bunch of different stuff in it that's going to help you to feel relaxed. If you don't take any other sleep supplements at all, this, in theory, should absolutely get you tired. And it does get me tired, get me relaxed, and all that stuff. It does. Very important. What I, I'm not a doctor, so don't listen to me if you're... <laughs> if you're looking for a doctor's advice. But what I have been doing lately is when I want to feel really chilled out, keep in mind, there's no drugs in this stuff, okay? You're not taking drugs. They have a lot of sleep aids that are drugs. I'm purposely not taking drugs. I don't want that, that stuff in my life, right? So what I'll do to, to become like on some other world type of thing is I will throw on my Revive, which is amazing, when you want to get tired and relaxed, I will take a sleep supplement and I will mix the sleep supplement, since this is powder, you gotta mix it with something, I'll mix it with sleepy time tea. Oh, man. I feel tired. I am telling you, it is like you're on a vacation. You are on a non-drugged up trip. It is so relaxing. If you're not tired after everything that I've just mentioned to you, you really have something you need to fix. So I, I'm grateful to say that because of stuff like what I'm talking about now, I can confidently know that if I need to sleep, I will get to sleep. Whether that's to stay on my same schedule that I need to keep, or whether that's because, whatever the case might be, because of recovery, all of it's important. But don't underestimate sleep. Don't underestimate recovery. Without it, all of your efforts in the gym go away. So keep that in mind, guys. Very, very important. Anyway, hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or any thoughts, please let us know in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Be safe, guys. Talk soon. I'll catch you all at the next video.